Hey guys, just want to take a quick second before we get into today's video and say thank you so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers. So instead of just saying thank you, we also want to include a giveaway in today's video and give back to you guys with $100 since we reached 100K. I wish I'd give you guys 100K. <laughs> I wish, but um, yeah, because we, we really appreciated all the love and support that you've given us. So all you have to do, we're going to make this super easy for you. We're actually going to make this international, yes. so anybody can enter the giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. If you feel comfortable leaving your Instagram handle, go ahead and do that. If you don't, we can just reach out to you on here and we will announce the winner in, in one week. Video. So just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Leave a comment about what you loved. <laughs> These balloons took a lot of effort. Yes, they do. I'm trying not to knock them over. Um, leave a comment down below what you've loved the most about More With Moros, and that's all. That's, and that's all, all you gotta do. do. All you have to do. So I hope you guys will enjoy today's video, and again, just wanted to say thank you. How many outtakes did this take to do? It took a lot. And now, we're taking these balloons off because they've given us a hard time. Hey guys, welcome back to another More With Mars video. In today's video, we're going to be tackling this DIY kitchen renovation that I recently completed. So you guys will see that this was a kitchen that really needed a little bit of a modern updated look. And that's what we went for with this whole project was the white subway tile, dark grout, white cabinets with stainless steel knobs on the cabinets. So I will insert a few pictures of the before of this kitchen. And the cabinets were already painted, so I mainly focused on the removal of the tile, the tile work, the grout, and the finishing touches. So with all that being said, what I ended up doing was using a 8 inch uh, pretty flimsy chisel. Now this worked for a little while, but after a while it started to break, the handle started to break and then the really flimsy metal would not stay between the tile and the sheetrock so it would start tearing off either pieces of tile or it would start digging into the sheetrock and that caused a bigger mess for me later. So towards the end of the video I switched everything up and used a more sturdy chisel and it took everything right off and it's honest, honestly one of the things that I should have used at the beginning and not second guess myself about but so this was the longest part of this entire project was trying to get this tile off and I thought it was going to be the quickest and the easiest but with all of the extra work that I had to do this took me an entire day to do because I had to go back and refill in sheetrock and try to get more of this old grout off of the wall. Also, I forgot to mention that I will be leaving everything that I used for this DIY kitchen remodel in the description below. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a little bit of a time lapse of taking all of this tile off of the wall. I'm 
colorblind, yeah of jeans a shirt or two we didn't pack as if we weren't and going back it doesn't matter if it's true i've got a feeling love will give us what we like the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. and if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store uh, I wanna take it on and I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch in my photos Where you go Every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights a year away like the seconds the beginning and the end uh, but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh, and if it's not enough so here's the tile that i used for this project and it was really, really simple and really nice. Now it was a little bit longer than normal. And you guys can see that I went with tile spacers, tile adhesive, and some dark gray grout that ended up giving me a little bit of trouble at the end. And you guys will see that because I really didn't mix it right. So for the first part of this project with laying your tile, what you wanna do is make sure that that first piece or your first row is sitting nice and level and level from the wall. So you didn't really want it to be pushed out on either side and you want it to be flush with the countertops and that's where my laser level the tile spacers and everything like that come together for me and really made this project really simple so you will also see that i had to do a lot of filling in where the old tile grout just really messed up the walls and it just made it a lot harder of a process but i went ahead and got through it you guys the end result of this project is what I'm really proud of and I can't wait for you guys to get to that point to see it. Quick little insert here. I put a piece of shiplap, made it level to the countertops where the old stove, where the where the stove used to be, just to make sure that I did not get anything out of square or out of level on this project because that's one thing that I did not want to have to go back and do was take tile off and put it back up on the wall. So once you get that first row completed or nearly completed, you can go ahead and start laying your second row. So you can get your spaces in the right spots that you want them. Now I ended up doing the spaces in the exact middle of each tile and that worked out really, really well. It made everything nice and symmetrical. But I will say I run into a few problems along the way with cutting smaller tile and in the corners where it was not nearly as perfect as I wanted it to be, but I had to go with it because that's all I really had to work with. Now, some of the things that I used here was my laser level and a little framing square just to make sure that everything was nice and perfect on that first few pieces of tile. From there on out, it was pretty much quick work with laying up all of these tiles.
So you guys can see right there in the corner of, of some of the small tiles and some of the small pieces that I was talking about. And once I got up to the cabinets, I had to cut all of the tile at one inch width to be able to fit up underneath there and that way I can keep that nice symmetrical line. And also you guys, underneath the microwave, I ended up doing just a little bit something different because there was no way I was going to get a piece of tile that small to fit up in there. So you guys will see me installing that piece a little later in the video. So for the opposite wall where the sink is, I had a few other little challenges to go through. I had this cut out uh, serving window to work around, I also had more electrical outlets and switches to work with, and the wall was just a little bit shorter than the opposite side so it threw everything off a little bit because it made my cuts a little bit smaller towards the end. But you guys will see this was the same exact process of putting tile up, putting your spacers in, making sure everything was nice and square. And then pretty much from there on out, the only real hard parts that you had was cutting around the outlets. I wish you'd stay, but there you go I have so much I want to say to you Much I want to say, but there's no time We used it all Still have so much I want to talk about But I messed it up and there you go Forgiving me and I just want you to know I didn't mean it Baby, I just wanna be with you I should be with you So here's one of the pieces that I was talking about being a little more difficult than all the others. It was one of those pieces where I had to cut out the tile and then fit it around the electrical outlet, then bring the outlet out and mount it back. And I had to do that several times on this wall um, on the opposite side. I think there was two pieces. So it was four pieces in all just in this one little spot that I had to cut. I had to try to figure out how to cut the tile around these outlets in the first place without breaking them. And that was a trial and error thing because I ended up breaking probably four or five pieces, not knowing how to cut the tile the right way. And it was a learning experience for me too. Cause I messed it up and there you go.
So you can see that I'm putting a little bit of a finishing touch on this outer piece of tile because it just didn't really look right without having something on the top of it because I was going to end up running several small pieces around the whole entire length underneath the cabinets and then it just really wouldn't look right without having a piece of trim or decorative trim at the end. So I ended up using four pieces of that just for uh, two on this side or one on this side that you see here and two on the opposite side where the other wall was. So it was a nice little add-on piece that kind of tied everything together. So when you're renovating a kitchen, even the smallest little things can make a world of a difference. Like these stainless steel knobs that I was adding onto the cabinets, they tied in nicely with all the appliance and they will also tie in nicely when the whole project is finished. I think it's pretty fair to laugh at this part right here because I was FaceTiming Brittany and I did not get my like mixture right and it was so runny it was almost like soup. So I ended up adding some more um, that I had left over from a previous project and at the end of it it turned out fine and the grout went in just as smooth as <laughs> the second time I had to mix it up. But you guys I, I want to take a second and say how hard like this was and how time consuming it was, but it ended up turning out perfectly. But once you think that you had everything wiped off and everything was nice and clean, more things just kept popping up or like more of those like dark gray streaks or you would have some leftover grout somewhere that you had to go back and clean up. But that was all part of this process and all part of the learning process for me because other than doing this with my father a long time ago this was my first good tile project and i will say that it turned out a lot better than i expected So here is a nice view of the final outcome of the entire project. Now I will go ahead and insert a few pictures because I ended up going back after I shot this B-roll footage and cleaning up some of the lines and making sure that I didn't have excess grout anywhere. And you guys, I really enjoyed doing this project. The before and afters were perfect. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And also don't forget to subscribe for more, more with Mara's videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Yeah.